Hello YouTube, SPD all the way here, bringing you another LEGO review on the brand new LEGO Star Wars 2012 Winter Sets. Um, this is another one that I just got on my vacation. This time I'm showing you the Gene Ocean Cannon, as shown here. Which is a pretty cool set. Um, I'm going to show you the box. Ages 7 to 12, number 94 91. Gian Ocean Cannon, 132 pieces. Pizzazz. I like saying that. Pizzazz. And it is 20 American dollars, just like the Droid Escape. Alright. Start off with the minifigures. Commander Gree. Long, long overdue. He should have been in many sets before. But this is Commander Gree. He has his green helmet and suit and everything. Comes with just a regular old blaster. I don't think they use very many other things. Um, he has printing on his pants. He's got like a little sash going right there. There's also a sash on his back. And I just dropped him. <sighs> but I can easily get him. So yeah. That's pretty cool. And then... Same old... Clone Trooper face, but... They didn't put on the mohawk. I wish they did. They put on the mohawk that he had, that would be awesome. Print it on somehow. Then this is Barris Offie, the Clone Wars version, not the Episode 3 Barris Offie. She comes with a uh, blue lightsaber. Peachy hands that aren't quite hands. Um, she has a face that looks like E.T. from the movie. I wish that my camera would focus, but it won't. There you go. Kind of looks like E.T. Then it comes with a blue hood. And a short blue cape to represent that she's a padded one. And then her shirt and black pants. Moving on to the Geonosians. This is the first time we've seen Geonosians with wings since 2002, which is a long time. But uh, the only thing wrong with these wings is they're plastic and very, very flimsy. You could rip these really easily. But uh, this is the same exact Geonosian from uh, that Geonosian Starfighter set. I didn't get it though because I really didn't like it, the set itself. Um. The only difference is it has wings now. Um, and the blaster is a ray gun with these pieces on it. So, pretty cool body and legs. Um, it has back printing. Can't see it very well but with the wings. But, like I said, the exact same figure from the Gene Ocean Starfighter. Or Speeder. Whatever. Um, the next Gene Ocean is actually Gene Ocean Zombie, which I don't know why Gene Ocean Zombie is working with the Gene Ocean, because he eats everything. So, technically, he shouldn't be working with him. Gene Ocean Zombie is a zombie, and I cannot freaking talk. I keep saying Gene Ocean. Gene Ocean. Well, whatever. For these wings, he's uh, got like rips and tears in them, because, you know, like rotting wings and all that gives it a nice feature. He's got like white eyes, as you see. Same body as that one, except it's all gray. And same blaster. Alright, moving on to the actual set itself. Pretty cool. Um, it has flick fire missiles down here controlled by these. So you can fire them. See, fired it. And then just pop it right back in right here. And this really, really resembles the Gene Ocean cannons in the movie and in the Clone War series. It's really, really accurate. Lego did a good job with this piece right here. And then you can just sit, sit one of the Gene Oceans right here, controlling right here. It's um it's a pretty good buy. Like it is 
pretty worth pretty much worth your money. Um it's a really really good set. So I'd go out and buy it, especially for the Gene Oceans and Commander Gree. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh SPD signing out.